The National Computer and Cybercrimes Secretariat Committee has revealed that the World Coin Project is targeting citizens from developing countries due to a lack of full disclosure by the cryptocurrencies. The committee said most Kenyans remain ignorant of the security threats brought about by the wild coin. While appearing before the Directorate of Departmental Committees Ad Hoc Committee on the World Coin Inquiry, the Cyber Crimes Department said that they are collaborating with other entities such as the DCI to uncover more on the project. As Tess Njenga now reports, this comes as it emerged that none of those who were registered through the IRIS have been reported to have converted the tokens and withdrawn the cash. Much, Chair, thank WorldCoin is part of an artificial intelligence economic race to determine who controls the AI economy in the world. This is according to the National Computer and Cybercrime Secretariat, NC4 unit, which has revealed that the WorldCoin project is targeting citizens from developing countries due to the cryptocurrency's lack of full disclosure. Individuals, entities, Companies. It has also pointed out that WorldCoin project has been banned in some countries after it failed to meet requirements for registration, signifying a need for better legislation in the country. So, in some countries uh, uh, where they've uh, where, where they've gone and now the dem authorities demand full disclosure, they find it untenable and uh, they, they exit. So, that is uh, in brief what we're able to establish so far. They're not able to meet the requirements uh, of those countries for registration to operate. They are targeting developing countries, first of all, whereby they think that the minimum wage bill is below average and therefore a small token will actually be of good use to sell your data. The token, uh, the currencies you're talking about, it is highly likely that they will not be able to convert that into physical cash. That is a deception measure to allow for people to come give out their information. Look at the mobile application first of all. While responding to the Parliamentary Committee on the World Coin Saga, the NC4 noted that most Kenyans are not aware of the security threats brought about by the World Coin Project. They added that Kenyans who participated in the data collection exercise were deceived by the idea of tokens which allegedly amounts to about 7,000 shillings when converted. However, none of the participants has been reported to have accessed the money as reports say that more Kenyans are still getting registered. Despite the suspension of the operations, uh, the, 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 the international, I call it the international, uh, world coin operations were only banned in Kenya, but the other countries are ongoing and it is accessible uh, to any uh, global citizen. WorldCoin, a project by OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, has been heavily criticized globally over privacy concerns, but the company's website says the project is completely private and that data is deleted or a user can opt to have it stored in encrypted form. However, the NC4 says that the project is part of the WE.30 technology that can enable a computer to verify a human being, leveraging on blockchain technology. Now, WorldCoin is in, in, in its effort is trying to spearhead the Web.30 technology, which is a new and emerging technology. When we look at the Web.30, it actually leverages on AI, machine learning, and the blockchain technology. And the fundamental idea is actually to decentralize the openness and increase consumer usefulness. It has also been revealed that unlike other companies which use the ordinary data collection methods, the WorldCoin data collection is more sophisticated and uses specialized equipment, with the Parliamentary Committee asking the Cybercrime Unit to conduct further investigations on the eyeball equipment. We've said uh, WorldCoin is leveraging on blockchain uh, technology. In terms of uh, what you put there cannot be amended, it cannot be edited. Uh, the nodes that participating in the, in, within the blockchain have equal rights to be able to deny or to accept uh, any 
any, any, any transaction that needs to be done. Of course, that is, of course, on the advantage side. Other witnesses due to appear on the inquiry include the Central Bank of Kenya Governor, the Data Protection Commissioner, the Directorate of Criminal Investigation, among others. The government, through the Ministry of Interior, has suspended the activities of the cryptocurrency project WorldCoin as government agencies assess potential risks to public safety. Yes, I believe this can be can be done. Reporting for Hope TV News Watch, I'm Tess Njenga.